Now an update that is positively Jax. You may remember last month I introduced you to Waikina Harris. She is a member of the Jacksonville Dragon Boat Paddle Club. She and her teammates were training to compete in New Zealand. Every single one of them is a breast cancer survivor. Harris shared her cancer battle with us and became emotional when she told me about the conversation that she had with the woman from the Hill Breast Center who called her more than three years ago to, to tell her that she needed to be seen immediately after her first mammogram revealed something suspicious. Called you. For her to say that to me was, oh my goodness. Like, I, I don't know who she is, if she will ever, because at every interview, and that's why I was like, I say this all the time, so I'm surprised that it still gets to me after all these years. And she immediately, as soon as I asked her about, you know, what happened, she immediately broke down into tears. She says something in the woman's voice, the woman she was talking to over the phone, made her jump. She scheduled an appointment right away and believes that woman saved her life. Doctors caught cancerous tumors in her breast before they could spread. Harris couldn't remember the, the woman's name or even the exact time she spoke with her three years ago, but she's always wanted to thank her. And we found her and pulled off a surprise reunion. One, two, check, one, two. Waikina Harris sits here thinking, I'm getting ready to interview her about her recent trip to New Zealand with the Dragon Boat Paddle Club. What she doesn't know is right around the corner is a woman who changed her life. We have spent weeks planning this big surprise. Waikina, I wanted to introduce you to someone. This is Georgia, the woman who spoke with you on the phone that day bringing her face to face with the woman she believes saved her life. How are you? I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, my God. Thank You're you. You're so, so welcome. welcome. Oh, my God. Oh, no problem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Georgia Stalvey oh, is the so Baptist mammography you. liaison, who Harris says in part is the reason she is able to stand here today, oh, a breast cancer survivor. Not only did you save my life, I'm sure you saved so many other women's lives because I talk about you all the oh, time. Well, thank all you. Thank the you. Time. It means a lot to me. It it's Stalvey's job to, to call women to schedule their appointments sure if their mammogram reveals something <laughs> abnormal. What do you think in meeting someone who really believes that you saved her life? Well, now you're going to get me a little bit. Um, I love what I do. Um, I talk to so many ladies every day. And she says oftentimes those ladies delay or don't even schedule a follow-up appointment, afraid of what they might learn. There are certain ladies that do stand out to me. I will not lie to you. Um, and this was one of them. She just needed that, that little push. Stalvey called push. Harris three times, not push. to pressure, but yeah, to nudge her to be screened after her first do. mammogram came back abnormal. That was three years ago. Harris remembers the call as if it was yesterday. Like she was just, you know, we can set you up on this. You know, we can put you in where you can get all of them done at the mm -hmm. same. If you don't need it, mm -hmm. then we'll, you won't have to get all of those. And I was I like, <laughs> oh, yeah, because <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but in my mind, I knew you were going to need it. I just knew that. That's why you were on my mind. That second screening revealed three tumors in her breast. It led to radiation, chemotherapy, surgery. She admits had it not been for Stalvey's persistence, she would have waited for months to get rechecked. Harris had just turned 40, had no family history. She thought the abnormal mammogram was just a mistake. Now she is forever thankful and bonded to the woman on the other end of the phone. Oh my God. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>
just incredible. Both Georgia and Waikina hope that this story will encourage all women to do their monthly self breast exams and to be sure that they not only get screened every year when they turn 40, but if that screening comes back abnormal, as emotional as it can be, get rescreened right away. Catching breast cancer, as we know, early can be the difference truly between life and death. What an amazing story. You know, Georgia's job is so important because like you said, you make that's that's the toughest call to make and the toughest words to hear for someone. And so then you think, what am I gonna do? And action was needed. So thank God for those liaisons who do that really tough it's job. It's just incredible. Yeah. She keeps some files on her desk, Mel. She says, you know, people who just don't want to get rescreened and she keeps them there and she calls, she them, calls them. And then yeah. she calls them again and then she calls them again. I mean, that's how committed right. she is to what that's she does and making sure they're healthy. To do that job. All right. So Akina looks great. How's she doing? She is doing yeah. great. She's in complete remission. Oh. She is living her life, her best life. She is competing, for, you know, with mm -hmm. the Jacksonville Dragon Boat Paddle Club. I mean, she's just, and she tells her story. She wow. shares her story. And she's, that is she, saving lives. It I'm is sure. saving lives. She really, mm -hmm. truly believes it.